Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're returning today, we're going to be doing my nails. It's been about five or six weeks and I'm just going to show you uh, how I did this. I'm going to show you the colors I used and uh, I'm going to show you right now. I've mentioned before, my nails are super duper thin and if there's no product on them, they get, they just like this one. So this product came off and it just ended up being a nub. They will just peel right off and my nails are healthy. Um, so these are the colors that I have on, just FYI. The purple is Cutie Patootie, and the blue is, oh my gosh, I'm going to forget it now, Moon Dust. Uh, just, so, just in case you're wondering the colors that I have on. So my right hand, mostly the, and I'm going to be using Sneaky Link. That's the color I'm going to be putting on. Just was showing you the colors I had on in case anybody wondered. Anyway, I'm going to be using Young Nails. Uh, gel and I'm gonna try to keep up with the video. This is in real time But it is quick and I'm just showing you the other things I'm gonna be using This is not polishes 3d brush on one side on the other side is a gel brush And I love it because it's thin and flat and stiff and it's just amazing. This is a young nails medium Safety barrel bit. I'm gonna use my e-file on a speed of six I'm gonna use that bit to remove the bulk of the product. So I'm gonna be getting off With this bit. I'm gonna be taking off the top coat which was gloss it by the way, and uh, most of the purple color and getting down into the hard gel. So I'm gonna be redoing these nails the same way I did them, like what I have on here, except for with the color change. Um, so what I'm removing is what I'll be putting back on. So since I've mentioned you guys before, my nails are really, really thin, not from damage, not from prep. You'll see when I get most of this product off because I don't take it all off. Um, that my nails are healthy. There's no rings of fire. There's no damage. It's just um, naturally, genetically, my nails are very thin and they rip and tear and peel. Whenever I'm done with my e-file, I always dust it off. So here's what they're looking like after that removal. There's still plenty of gel on there. And if you don't know what I mean by gel, like I'm not doing gel nails. Um, I, I mean, I guess maybe I am. I don't really know. Um, when I put this on a speed of six here, I notice that it's kind of skipping and dragging um, because I don't like to use pressure when I'm doing my dominant hand because um, when I, in the past when I have used pressure, I end up over prepping and damaging my nails because I have to use pressure. <laughs> so I'm, I turned my e-file up so that I only have to float the bit over it to get the product off. Now this nail, since it ripped down to a nub, it was because the product started peeling off like you see there on the thumb and the middle finger. And it happened at work, so I didn't have a file with me to like file it flush so it wasn't ripping. And I ripped it off, and the way I fixed it, because I, um, when I got home, I put like four layers of top coat on it to just keep it stable and keep something on it until I could have time to sit down and actually redo my nails. So uh, what I was saying was the gel, you'll see when I go to redo these nails what I mean by gel. So. There's so many different types of gel, right? I mean, this is gel polish. Our top coat is gel. <clears throat> there's hard gel. There's poly gel. There's just, you know, uh, so many different products. And I'll explain. I just want to show you. I love not polish bits because their name, they stamp their name on them. So anytime you want to use one, you know, like I'm using my not polish bit, right? But I'm going to take this bit because it gets in the corners really well and get the rest of the hard gel that I have on my nails still even though my nails look really thin and like there's nothing on them there's actually quite a bit of product still left on them especially in the edges and especially on my right hand because i didn't want to go in any harder than i did with that larger coarser bit this is a finer bit and you can also see that i'm not going on my natural nail with it this is just on product and you can tell that because uh, when you remove gel the dust that you get off will literally stack and pile up because it's so fine it's just a different animal and you'll see me flick my fingers quite a bit and it's just because i'm flicking the dust away so i can see what i'm doing it's not because i'm like ow you know i've been flicking myself or anything um but so i'm going to remove another layer and there is still gel on my nails when i'm done with this bit so i do go in with a sanding band to make it all flush and to uh, prep my natural nail growth um, so gel, yes. All right. So if you're going to do poly gel, 
hard gel, uh, gel nails, you always want to go in with your normal prep like you would for acrylic. So all the prep you see me doing here and the prep you're going to see me continue to do, just like you would lay acrylic, uh, right down to using swipe and a bonder. Um, you know, like triple X bond from Not Polish or uh, protein bond from Young Nails or a, a prep trio, something like that. And then you want to go in with a base layer, a base gel or a slip layer. It depends on what product you're using, what it's called, but it's all has the same purpose. So the only gel I use on, let me back up. Normally you would put on the base. What I'm using today is base gel, that, that gray gel of young nails that I showed you the container of that said base gel. That is, like I said, normally where you would start with gel. That would be your base layer. And then you would go in with it, whatever product you were using, whether it be hard gel like I do have another gel from Young Nails that is made for building your nail um, or building, you know, putting on a form and building a whole nail. Like if you were going to use poly gel, same thing. You want a base layer down. Well, for me, all I want to do with the gel is to level out my surface, fill in any ridges and strengthen my natural nail. My natural nails just bend, peel, rip, tear, <clears throat> they're super duper thin, excuse me. And so I just put two layers of base gel and don't go in with any hard gel. I don't go in with any uh, enhancement. I'm just using it to, for strength and leveling. So that's why it might not look like other people, how other people do gel nails because I'm not making an enhancement, if that makes sense. I'm just using it for, I, I know I say that all the time, if that makes sense, sorry. But I have extremely dry skin on this hand, so I'm going in pretty strong with the ball bit at a speed of 8, which is pretty much like a speed of 10 on any other e-file. And with this hand, it's hit or miss if I even hit what I'm aiming at. I don't really don't have control of my left hand, so a lot of times I'll move my finger instead of the instrument, or I'll hold it very still like I am here and just go for it. I'm showing you this middle finger specifically because for my whole life, whenever I do my nails, this finger is always the driest, like the dry skin on surrounding this finger nail is always just <laughs> unreal. I mean, I could get like, you know, a teaspoon of skin off of it. <laughs> um, so anyway, yes, I am just going, I do have to hold my e-file e a certain way sometimes when I'm working on this hand. I have to balance my finger uh, on something uh, on a harder surface, etc. So now I'm going to put this on a speed of three. I'm going to go in with the sanding band and do prep, like continue with my prep, like as if I were working on my natural nail, but there still is hard gel on my nails, as you will see and can see, I'm sure. You can actually see the growth line where it starts, and you can also still see that that fine, fine, fine powder is still coming off. And when I get to my other fingers, you'll be able to see um, you know how when you file and you have some parts that are white and some parts that aren't and you can tell where you still need to file, you'll see that happening here. See this? So you can clearly see where the patch of gel that is still on my nails is and you can see where my growth is and my natural nail is. So, and this one also, you can see the white patches where I still need to file and get it level. So even though you might think that I've got it all off, you can see at this step that I don't. And so I'm just smoothing it out. And the gel that I'm going to be using from Young Nails, the base gel, is self-leveling. So once I apply one layer, I cure it for 60 seconds. I think you're supposed to maybe, or only need to cure it for 30, but I cure every layer 60 seconds just because I just want to make sure because I'm putting on multiple layers that everything is cured. And that's just what I do. I do 60 seconds. So I'll put on one layer, do 60 seconds, do another layer, put on 60 seconds, and then I do two layer of my gel color and one layer of top coat. So I did get up and go wash my hands, and now I'm going to file my free edges, and I'm just showing you again how clean and nice and healthy my nails are, even though they're thin, naturally so, they are not damaged. And that flicking you just saw me do, I'm just flicking away nail dust. Um, also, there was some dry skin here and so you'll see me turn the file 
toward my skin and actually file on my skin, which there's nothing wrong with that. That's the same as using a sanding band or any other thing. But I wanted to get that little hanging piece of dry skin off. That's what I'm trying to do right here. Oh, so I didn't think I was going to be able to explain what I was doing as this went along because these always go by so fast for me. But I did say I would post this. Kendra's coming tomorrow, so I need this video off my phone. I am going to schedule it, but I still need to get it off my phone so I can record her set. Tomorrow we're doing a full removal, which I am going to record because I haven't put that on my channel in, in a while. So it's going to be a long video, and I'm just showing you how thin my nails are here. This is what my nails look like with no product on or a very small amount of product. So I'm going to go in with Swipe. I'm going to go in with Protein Bond. And then I'm going to go in with my hard gel. So I'll stop talking about Kendra's set when we get to the hard gel. So uh, I'm going to show the removal. We're doing a full removal. Even though I just did a full removal last time, she's changing her shape to stiletto. She got a new job and she's not working restaurant anymore. So she can have her nails as long as she wants them. So she wants to go back to long, sharp, batty stilettos. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna get a little Japan dish, and put some swipe in it, um, because I'm gonna need to use this to clean up my edges or any um, gel that I need to do cleanup with. And I only need as much gel as is on this lid. So I never end up putting this brush in the container. I'm just showing you here how little I'm using. On the first layer, which is called a slip layer or your immersion layer, or your ad adhesion layer. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Like again, Gel is not my genre, you guys, but I do do my own version of it on my own nails to keep them strong. Anyway, um, this is, like I said, self-leveling and it, is, it also remains sticky and for a reason, because since this is your base layer, you want everything else you put on after this to really, really adhere. And a lot of times when you're using um, this product, whether it's Young Nails or any other product, your base or slip layer, is to be scrubbed into your nail like you could use an actual different brush and really scrub this in so that it gets in all the little crevices but again i'm not trying to do a set of gel gel nails i'm not trying to do an enhancements or build my nails i'm just trying to level and strengthen so i'm not using it in all the ways it can be intended to use just just putting that out there i cured for 60 seconds now i'm going to go in with a little bit of a thicker layer to just make sure I have strength. And I'm gonna cure again for 60 seconds. And while I'm doing that, I'll just finish what I was saying about Kendra. She got a set of stiletto nails that were a custom color and hollow. You guys might remember them. And then um, Holly came and got the same nails because she saw them on Instagram. Well, Kendra wants those nails again. So it will be a set I've done before, but again, I'm gonna make the video long and I'm gonna show you guys the whole thing. So I'm recording that tomorrow. So that'll be up after this. Also, I didn't mention that I do have a table towel down there that I am wiping my brush off on. And when I um, am finished with the application, I wipe my brush, I wipe the gel off my brush and I dip it into my swipe and clean up my edges. You don't want this gel on your skin. Number one, some people can have a reaction to it. Number two, it can burn if your layer is too thick. I didn't get a burn with this because my layers were thin. Um, but it's easy to, easy to do. Uh, but mostly you don't want it on your skin because you're going to get lifting. You don't have your edges sealed. Just like you want to seal your cuticle, you need to seal your free edges and your side walls with this. It needs to be, it, I want to say adhered. I'm not sure. It needs to be sealed along all the edges. So that's what I'm doing here is just making sure that along my side walls like that, you can see that little glob right there that would have uh, lifted within the next day after my first shower, this whole thing just would have peeled right off. Um, I don't ever have that issue. I have them, the issue of them peeling from my free edge, like you saw when I first started. So this is very sticky tacky. Uh, so I don't want to touch it, but I'm going to go in with my polish now. And again, this is the color sneaky link from not polish. I'm going to do a really thin layer that isn't even complete or doesn't even cover everything, just a thin layer. Um, and I will make them nice and perfect and go slower on my second layer. And I will also use the same brush with swipe to clean up around my edges before I cure.
And right here, just so you know, this is my second layer. I have come out of the light for 60 seconds. So I am putting on my second layer on top of my cured first layer here. I do show you a little bit on my right hand, on my dominant hand, just so you can see a little bit of the struggle I have. <laughs> I have to go real slow and uh, yeah, especially with my nub on my ring finger, but I wanted to make sure to get product on it so it can grow. If I don't, do that you guys as soon as they start as soon as i get any length to my nails which i don't really like them long naturally myself because i don't care for the shape of my own nails personally especially when they start growing they start kind of spooning out and getting wide i don't know if you noticed that at the very beginning that was only five or six weeks of growth they weren't even long nails they just had a little bit of free edge and they just start looking like spoons they like get wide or something weird i don't know but anyway I've never really liked the way my mine own natural nails look grown out. So I only want them this long ever when it's my natural nail. So, uh, to, but to keep them even this long, I have to keep product on them or else they will be absolute nubs. Like my ring finger looks, they'll all look just like that because anything I touch, I open a cabinet drawer, rip. Uh, I, I get in the shower and turn on the handle a little too quickly, rip the next one. Like I'm telling you, they just, they just rip off. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm trying to see what is up next. I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to show you a little bit of application on my other hand. Oh no, I'm going to go in with gloss it. So I cured again for 60 seconds and then I'm going to go in with gloss it. I'm going to make sure I seal all my edges again with this and I'll let you guys watch. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I polish my nails, like just my natural nails and just do them, I I just love how shiny and wet they look. And I just want to see you guys to see from this angle, even with that product, that my nails don't look thick. And I have, what, five or six layers of product on here. So if you go in real slow, and I had to learn this, you guys. This, this took a minute because I'm used to making an enhancement. I'm used to making, like doing acrylics and making the nail thick, not ugly thick, but you know, enhanced, uh, and building strength and building an apex and putting product on, you know? And so even when I use poly gel, because I do also like to put poly gel on my nails, I use this same exact procedure, except I'm not using polish. I'm using colored poly gel and a top coat, but then with the poly gel, you do have to file and shape as soon as you cure it. So I just feel like doing it this way has been working for me and it eliminates a step. Plus poly gel, there's all that padding and shaping that's just not necessary if this works. But again, this has been something like trial and error that I've been figuring out for years. Like how do I want to keep my natural nails at all times, you know? And how can I keep them where they don't end up like nubs like this and get ripped and everything? So this is what I've come up with and it works for me. If you guys are dealing with thin natural nails or thin nails because you've damaged them. If you get just really get you some hard gel or some poly gel, uh, that's really what did it for me. You still have to go in with prep though. So if you're damaging your nails uh, during prep with acrylic, you're still going to damage them during prep for this process because you need to do the same prep. So um, also just real quick to, to mention what I'm doing here. I am doing any polish any color of polish that I accidentally left on my skin and cured on there I'm getting off with this sponge buffer like you can see a tiny little speck of red there so I'm just filing it off with this sponge buffer it's super 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 fine so it takes me a second but it will take it off my skin and then I crisp my free edges up just because I don't like that rounded feel to my edge when uh, of gel when I'm done with the product or when I'm done with the set Ugh, sorry what I was saying about damaged nails is your nails can also be damaged from um, soaking off too many times, changing your sets too many times, um, ripping your acrylic nails off. You know, there can be a million reasons, but if you learn to go slow and careful with your prep, you can really heal your nails up because I'm proof. Believe me, I ruined my nails. So I'm going to go in with an absolute boatload of cuticle oil and then I'm going to put lotion on and I'm going to mix them together and I'm going to rub it in just 
just ad nauseum. And I kept this in because I want you guys to see, like, my hands are so dry. So I just really, really, really scrub it in. And then I'm going to dry off my palms and rub it in again and then dry off my palms. And then I'm going to just wipe the actual nail color so they don't look oily for pictures. And then we're done. So I hope this helped any of you that uh, have naturally thin nails or just want to grow your nails out because this will grow your nails. You They won't break. They're really, really, really firm. And if your nails are naturally the kind of nails that just bend, they won't. This is I should have sh maybe shown how sturdy they were, but there wasn't really any length for me to show you that they didn't bend or to maybe like tap on a surface or anything. <clears throat> so maybe I'll show you guys that next time. But here's the finished product. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.